Hi everyone, my name is Alexis. I have the great gift of hosting the Priority One Fitness Show on PPM TV. And if you're watching Don't Diss My Ability, well then you know all about PPM TV. So I'm here to demonstrate a couple of exercises. These are exercises that can be done seated, standing, wherever you'd like. We do recommend that if you are sitting down, you find a hard seated chair. What you may not be able to see is this little guy behind me, this hard seated chair. It's just a simple folding chair. But the reason we want a hard seated chair when we're exercising is so, so that the hips sit squarely below the spine. I think it goes without saying that when we're sitting in a, a soft chair, something really comfortable, we're very inclined to do this which is leaning back and rounding the spine. We want to, during exercise, avoid that rounding of the spine. We want to rely upon your body. So one other thing you may not be able to see is that I'm not leaning back. I'm sitting toward the edge of the chair. I have my hips forward in the chair, but in a safe position. As we could see, I could round and lean back, but I really want to avoid that here. So let's take a look at two exercises we can do for the upper body. Both of these exercises will serve to help improve the posture, or I should say improve the muscles that control the posture. So we're going to look at one for the chest muscles and the, or the front of the shoulder, and then we're going to look at one for the back of the bod, the muscles parallel to the muscles that we're about to work. So I'm going to give you one for the front and one for the back. And these should be done separately. I think that might go without saying but we'll take a tiny break in between and we'll transition to the back so taking a look at the front of the bod we're going to do what we call some push-ups now don't worry we're not getting down on the floor we're not going anywhere we're going to stay right where we are so assuming you found your hard seated chair and everything is up tall your shoulders are over your hips your feet are flat on the floor and ideally your, your knees are hip width apart we're not letting those knees collapse in we're keeping all of the joints aligned those push-ups are going to be as simple as bringing the palms up and turn them toward me so looking at me, you have your palms facing me, and if I could see them, I'd give you a high five and tell you that's exactly what I'm looking for. And we're going to push through the heel of your palm. So when you're ready, if you're ready, push toward the screen of your TV. Now note that I'm pushing through the heel of my palm. Now, excuse me, <clears throat> if that's uncomfortable, if you have carpal tunnel issues, that may not be for you. Now I should mention, not every exercise is appropriate for every person. So if something causes you pain, confusion, just doesn't plain old make sense, it might not be for you. Or maybe today isn't the day for that exercise. So if it causes pain or stress in the forearm or the wrist or the hand, you might skip that. But you could try maybe. Maybe you could do some punching moves. And what we're looking to do there is just push towards me through your knuckles. So we can do it either way. It changes a little bit how that we recruit that muscle. We're looking at the chest. We're recruiting the chest and the shoulder. But if you, if either one, six of one, half a dozen of the other. But we're going to try the classic way of doing a push-up, which is through the heel of the palm. So you'll note that my elbows start close to my waist. We're going to push away as if you're moving a wall and you're pushing that wall towards me. Now, ideally, as you push, you should be able to feel these muscles right here where the shoulder connects to the chest. The, that connection, that those two muscle groups, that muscle is what we're aiming for. That area is what we're aiming for. So let's go ahead and try it out. We square the shoulders over the hips. We sit tall. We rely upon our body for our posture. We breathe Bring those puppies up and keeping your elbows narrow. Push toward me as if you're pushing a wall. Feel those muscles where the chest and the shoulder connect. Go ahead and rest by bringing the elbows back. And again, we push and we slowly retract. And we push and we slowly retract. Let's go ahead and look at three more and bring it home. Now push with a little intent. Two more and we're going to bring it home and one more time hold that wall and push toward me keep breathing feel those chest muscles five four three two one and rest and that was your chest exercise